Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will design and we will simulate the overcurrent protection in Simulink. So I have already built the scheme and the connection and I will also make a video how you will design this uh, protection scheme step by step and I will put the link in the description. So this is the overall circuit of my overcurrent protection. So I'm using a three phase source, then I'm using a three phase load. And I will check, I, I will protect this this load from overcurrent protection. So for this, I am using a three phase breaker and I am using a three phase VI measurement that will measure the voltage and current, three phase voltage and three phase current, right? And also, I will generate a, a, a fault by using three phase fault toolbox and also the fault will be generated by using stair generator and that is I, I want to generate the fault by using external fault right uh, also uh, I will click on each block in order to regenerate its outputs or its values so I pick the three phase source and I all these parameters can be picked by going to the library browser and just type three phase source or three phase breaker or each name of block and you will get uh, its block and it just take and pick it over here so for three phase generator i'm using a y2 ground generator that has a phase to phase value of 25 kilo and its frequency of 50 and the rest of values i keep it by default and for the load flow i just select a swing type generator right and for the load i i pick a three phase series RL load and that has a phase to phase voltage of 1 kV and a frequency of 50 Hz and the rest of values are by default right also the the circuit breaker setups are as like just select this to close and click on this external fault if you do not click on this external fault it will consider that the fault is generated itself but in our sim simulation we will generate the fault by our own to see the effect of fault does it operate or not right so click on it uh, external fault and remain all these wheels by default right okay and this is the three phase fault that will sh uh, show me the fault a uh, three phase like uh, how where i want to generate the fault right uh, just double click on it okay and these are the values and i just click the external fault and rest of the you know uh, parameters are left by default and this is my stair generator that will be used for generating our fault initially i'm taking i'm assuming that there is no fault in my uh, system the fault in the qt 0000 for each phase and ground right okay this is the scope and this is dmux dmux will take out the three phase uh, voltage phase to phase voltage and I will display it in using this scope and this DMUX is used to display the three phase fault three phase currents right okay and this is the subsystem that will define my logic for the over current protection so one input is taking as a constant and the second uh, input is uh, uh, taking the current that is generated by this generator and will consume by this load so it will compare be both these two currents and I consider the pickup value of 2 uh, ampere if the value is about 2 ampere and if the value of IABC is about 2 it will trip otherwise it will remain restrained so let's double click on subsystem this is my input number 2 and this is my input number 1 right this is my input number 1 that is what that is a constant pickup value the input number 2 is a value that I am getting from the uh, current that is flowing in my system that is my rms block and that is my relation operator that has a this input has a value of 2 it will it will compare these two currents if the value of this i and 2 any input number 2 values is greater than this it will generate a high signal r1 and this is a flip flop sr flip flop the sr flip flop will just compare will just reflect this one to the output side of q and i will get uh, if all the three values are high like one 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 so i will get one at the output of and gate and this this is the terminator because i do not want to use the second you know q bar output i do not need so i will just terminate this right 
now this is a data type conversion it will convert my end signal that is n and its output is boolean so it will con convert this boolean to double data type right and that is my output then and that output is goes towards the uh, relay so this make sure that you keep this zero to boolean otherwise your op system will not work right and also if you double click on it and uh, you just select your double from here right okay these all are the uh, you know uh, my logic for higher current that is relational operator will be used so go back to there and that output is come out from all the way to the circuit breaker if it generate a higher signal like the output of n is 1 so i will get higher signal and it will gen uh, uh, generate a signal high and this uh, circuit breaker will become open and no 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 power will flow so initially I am assuming that no fault is in my system. So let's just, just, just simulate this. I simulated my result from zero for my, my simulation for 0 0.1 second. So I will just check the currents voltages at each phase. That is the my phase one voltage. That's my phase two and that's my phase three. All three voltages are at the same having the same magnitude and 120 angle default so it means that my system is in okay state similarly you can see the current the current values also uh, at the same magnitude and a uh, same phase angle so there is no fault in my system now i want to generate a fault at phase number two right and i i uh, i assuming that the amplitude of fault is one click apply and okay let's just simulate this again now the simulation is done let's see the result here it is let's as i generated a fault so it's considered this at instant of the time 0 0.4 it generated a fault and it will go all the way from the second value right let me click on the stair generator the fault is generated from 0 0.4 0 0.04 and it will reach flow towards the fault will generate up till 0 0.1 second if I change this to 0 0.29 and run this again, so after 0 0.19, my graph will become uh, smooth again, like it, it can be seen. The fault is generated at a time of 0 0.04 and it's end at the time of 0 0.19 seconds. And after that, the value of current and voltage are at its normal values. So that was the video that how you will design and simulate uh, over current protection scheme and simulating so thank you so much please do subscribe to my channel like and share thank you so much